So, welcome back guys to yet another lovely episode of Horizon Forbidden West. So, we know in pursuit, in pursuit of poison of one of Gaia lost subordinate function we have to find. So, we have to actually find three. So, it's gonna be a very interesting episode now. There is a new quest. I can just have a look. Oh, the quest is somewhere here. Now I'm somewhere here. There's something unknown. Which is over here. Why don't I just have a look at it? The signal my focus picked up is coming from that metal tower. Maybe I should check it out. For the next fight. An image of the old world. Huh. Kinda looks like Plainsong. And some kind of metal structure. This is some other kind of uh, we are subordinate what I have got. Obviously, somewhere else. Nice. Positive green shot. Huh. Need to just gather some more valuable. From here, it's gonna be fine. Oh no. Looks like this image was taken from somewhere high up. Maybe I should try by those metal structures on the hillside. Hope this tastes as good as it looks. something I never expected but yeah nice that ancient lookout seems promising I could try to line up the image from there So from here it might work out. That's what I feel. This one looks like it's got a canister on its back.
trying to do. I just came ahead. So let's just continue with some more missions. Mm. High turning. Oh, the hunting ground. The plain soul is here. Which is full, but my pack has room. Have a lot of quests pending or which has just come new sorry some new rebel outpost no I completed some collection find the origin of the onstro We'll do that later. So find the ornament, but on the map, it not be showing me anything. So I just go and complete a quest which is like the roots that binds go to the room high oh it's on the top so let's just go ahead a bit later. This place is somewhere on the top.
this thing helps to reduce the journey a bit less. It's here. So why not we just No. Oh, red fox. Oh, a groundkeeper. Let's just save here, quick save, and then we can see what missions do we have here. To the so you made it. Welcome to the hunting grounds. My name is Avina. I'm the caretaker of the grounds. I make sure they're kept fit for training against machines, whether they be used by our soldiers or our Utaru neighbors. Same as the Karja then. Ah, yes. We've heard those cowards claim the idea of hunting grounds as their own, but our soldiers have been training in places like this since before the clan wars. I'm willing to bet our trials are beyond anything the Karja would dare face. A skilled hunter like you might actually find them challenging. Rewarding, too. Win our trials and you'll earn stripes. That, in turn, will garner you some medals. Remnants of our victory against the Karja during the Red Raids. You can take medals to the arena of the Grove, our capital. Its keepers will let you exchange them for the finest weapons and gear our tribe has to offer. I'll keep that in mind. I should probably also mention our carver. They make pieces for a popular game of ours. Watching the machines at the grounds gives them inspiration. You mean strike? You know of it. And maybe you should check out their wares. Carvers almost always have extra pieces to trade for the right resources. I should get going then. I have other grounds to inspect. But rest assured they will be open to you. Walk with the ten. Are these your hunting grounds? They are. Try a challenge, and we'll see if you live up to your reputation. down a rope to start. Just use any rope to jump in, and I'll start timing you. Thanks to the data from the cauldrons, they can override tracker borrowers now.
Why it's not unavailable? Why it's unavailable? You've got to take this. You've earned it. Silent strike. Kill machine using silent strike and strike from above and remain undetected. Okay. One of my best trials. Just use any rope to jump in and I'll start timing you. Acid ammo could help you. Get him fast. Another challenge defeat. Take this. You've earned it. Slight silent gliding style. This is going to be interesting. In one minute, hold square to deploy a shield wing while in midair. While gliding over an unalerted machine, tap R1 to kill it. Okay. This is going to be a very interesting one. One of my best trials. One machine. Just use any rope to one jump minute. in, and I'll start timing you. In one minute, I need to kill two. One.
Well, I hope it worked. <laughs> this is for you. <sighs> All completed. Wow, hunting medals. It was worth it. I'll be here when you return. Octane 3. You looking to strengthen your hunting skills, Outlander? They just travel fast to this hunting ground. Where I think so, I just have one left. Why not? You can slide. Let me know what you need. Shock trials. Grounds are all yours. Just use the ropes to jump in. Frost ammo could help here. This is yours, Savior. Finally. All medal. These grounds are always open to you. You need the right gear if you're going hunting. Care, Red. Oh, hey, Red.
There's something you should know, Outlander. I hear there's a group of Tanakh holed up near Stone's Echo. No one knows why they're there. One of our veterans wants to seek them out, learn what they're doing out here. To know the new Taru territory. That doesn't sound good. Your next hunt, let's trade. Bountiful. Why do you think we're in this flight of death? Well now, my days is having a We didn't start from the floor of that. I'll dry off. There is nothing to be done. The river will What's going on here? You're the one who spoke before the chorus. Maybe you can help. This is not your concern, Outlander. Have we not tolerated enough of your intrusions? I think you can handle one more. What is it? My wife, Kalai. She was to join the course. She went up to the promontory to perform the rite of discovery, but she must have fallen. And now they are abandoning the search. We have done enough, Bree. The search party found nothing but her instrument broken beside the riverbed. And atop the promontory was only the dye she used for the ritual. We will not ask more of our people to risk their lives because of one woman's stubbornness. But the seed she carried deserved to be planted and remembered. I heard how you helped the land god, Ray. How you saw what no one else could. Please, will you look for her seed pouch? False hope is a creeping vine. The right of discovery. What is it exactly? It's a pilgrimage to the promontory. The place where the first Dutaro beheld Plainsong. Kalai was to follow the path our ancestors took. Mark her eyes with dye and then play her song while overlooking the land. She then would have added her mark on the promontory itself, joining the marks of those who came before. Every new chorus member used to make the journey. But because of the derangement, the practice has been abandoned. Too dangerous. No one's done it for years. Then why did she do it? We all urged her not to. But, as was her way, she ignored our warnings. She thought it would lend strength to her point of view. She needed to prove that she respected the old ways, even as she advocated against them. Then maybe more people would listen. Kalai was carrying a pouch of seeds? Every Utara keeps one. We choose the seeds at a young age taken from the plants of our forebears or those of other significance. And when one passes, their seeds are returned to the land that nourished them, so that life may spring again. Which is why I want Kalai's pouch. Her seeds deserve to be planted in Plainsong. The river will carry the seeds to new soil, where they will take root and flower. But they won't be at home. It's the best we can hope for. If I'm out that way, I can take a look around. Thank you. The promontory is northeast of here. Look for the broken bridge at the bottom of the cliffs, right at the promontory's base. That's where the search party found her instrument. Okay. That all right with you? How you waste your time is not my concern. Searching for what the land has already reclaimed is fruitless. What's going on here? Sounds like there's a problem. We're speaking about something important, Outlander. Yul, 
Please. Later. A reminder of why I often prefer plants to people. They're so much less demanding. I apologize for y'all. My people used to be friendlier, but hunger robs many of their kindness. Seems like there's a lot around here in short supply. Is there anything that can help? As y'all said, we need food. So much so that we've sent hunting parties to the old growth, a forest in the north. We never used to hunt animals for food. We never had to. But as our crops fail, we've run out of options. But something else went wrong. A machine slaughtered the last hunting party we sent out. A Klostrider. But to hear the lone survivor tell it, more deadly than any we've seen before. Until it's gone, I can't risk more hunters, but without that meat, our people grow more lean every day. I saw you up there when I spoke in front of the chorus. Yes. I'm sorry I couldn't do more to help you, and especially Zo. Many Utaru like to think we're above politics, but that is far from true. I don't often agree with Fane, but I have to work closely with him on many matters. So you didn't want to cross him? Not in such a public way, no. I hope you don't hold it against me. What's done is done. It all turned out in the end. Tell me everything you know about the machine that attacked your hunters. It fell upon them near the edge of the old growth. One of them, then, survived and made it back to Plainsong. If you wish to question him, he's recovering with our healers. The other four hunters weren't so fortunate. It must be a powerful beast. Can you destroy it? I've handled tough ones before. Good. The old growth must be made safe for hunting. One more thing. Every Utaru wears a small patch of seeds. Given at birth, planted at death. It is how we remember our loved ones and celebrate their place in the cycle. It would mean a great deal to the hunter's families if you could recover them. I'll do what I can. I know you will. Be careful in the forest. Before I head for the old growth, I might want to talk to the survivor. See what he can tell me about the Klostrider. That was a big job. Over here, child. I wish to speak with you. You're a Nora, aren't you? Haven't seen one since I visited Hunter's Gathering. I didn't think the Utaru traveled that far east. I did it for my dyes. I like to see how different tribes use roots and plants to make new colors. It's amazing how the right hue can make armor express so much more than its mere function. I have some samples, if you're interested. It's nothing compared to the Tanakh Dyers. They may not be the friendliest of tribes, but if you bring their Dyers plants or samples, they might show you their skills. I'll keep an eye out for them. Mind when you need armor. There's the survivor from the hunting party. Easy now. Then? I'm here about the machine in the old growth. You're going after that horror. I'm going to try. Do you mind answering a couple of questions about it? I'll... I'll tell you what I can. Tell me what happened, step by step. There were five of us, hunting for boar to help feed the tribe, just like we had done half a dozen times before. Some machines got in our way. Happens every time we go to the old growth. Like always, we cleared them out. 
But this time, when we were done, we heard this roar. Hey, easy. I saw a flash from the trees, all claws and tail. It ripped right through Cole and Re and Zan. Came right at me, slashed my shoulder. There was blood. Then an arrow slammed into its neck. My friend Lau, he distracted it, yelled and whooped it. It turned on him. He disappeared into the trees, and it followed him. Last thing I heard him yell was for me to run. So I did. I was halfway back to plain song before I realized what I had done. Left Lau to die. Is there anything you can tell me about the machine that might help? It looked like a claw strider, but it was stronger. Much stronger. Anything else? Its armor was darker, and it had a strange purple glow. Thanks. I think I know what I'm dealing with. I need to get going. You don't want to fight that thing. Trust me. I know what I'm doing. Well, if you do, I hope you cut it to shreds. It killed Lao, my oldest friend. Nature's bounty stitched into the perfect wares. Yes? What were Kalar's political beliefs? Radical. You would have gotten along. Plain song is dying. But Kalai believed we don't have to die with it, as the wind carries the seed to distant lands. She proposed that the Utara leave Plainsong and seek out a new home. We are bound to this land. A tree, but you're not trees. It doesn't matter. I need to be going. Please, let me know if you find Kalai's seed pouch. So, guys, we need to end this chapter here. And we can continue with the next side missions what we have. So till that time, keep following. Do like, share and subscribe. Your lost gamer friend, 2287.